Welcome to This is How We Brew It. All right, this is how we brew it. We are at the Caffeine and Kilos warehouse, and we have a brand new coffee brewing device. Oh, this isn't a butterfly catcher? No, <laughs> came in. Dean thought it was a butterfly catcher because, in fairness, it's got a butterfly on it, and it's a little net-looking thing there. I thought that you're, you accidentally bought, uh, or accidentally had a item shipped for your daughter to uh, CK from Amazon. That's what yeah. I thought happened. No, no. Uh, what it is, is it, hold on to me. There it is. And slap that bad boy in there. There we go. And this is a uh, Coleador. Coreador. 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 Okay. And it is how, it is a Costa Rican method of making coffee. So it's essentially uh, a, a, a pour over, okay, like a dripper pour over, uh, but a few minor changes or differences that really what makes a Coreador, or maybe they would say Coreador. Coreador? Coreador? I don't really know. Hmm. Uh, the exact pronunciation. So they're generally wood, wood framed. Some, they're not always as pretty with the butterfly. Sometimes it's just wood, sometimes like an A frame actually. Well, if I see a plain one and I see the butterfly one, I'm obviously going to get it. It's a no brainer. One. And the fact that it folds up flat, like it's actually great. You want to talk about like that? Like if you're going to take it somewhere, like you're going whatever camping, not backpacking, like car camping or yeah, something, yeah. you know, I mean, it it's, uh, could be really convenient for that. Like I said, folds up flat. Um, and then you can place it out, whatever. It's kind it's of fun. for like at the house and uh, just to save space for storage. Save space for storage. Yeah, because appliances take up a lot of room. They do. Seriously, no, they do. if they you do. get, and if you're like us, we've got a few ways of making coffee, uh, you start running out of things. So what you do is you get your, uh, the sock here. Um, they call it, a lot of times it's referred to it as the sock. Uh, and then you put your coffee in there. And so it says, you use, you know, about, uh, one or two tablespoons for every six ounces of water. So we uh, got these cups here are about uh, 16 ounces. 16 and, ounces. Uh, for the water, uh, I measured about two cups worth. So About two cups of water? So probably that whole thing. All right. Or close to it. There we go. Got the perfect amount of coffee. Yeah. Ready to go there. Perfectly measured on our scale. Perfectly. Well, I think we perfectly measured how much uh, this entire thing ground is. Yeah. Right? All right. Exactly. There we go. Ooh, that might be a little much. Ooh. Uh, Kind of an interesting thing. It's got here. a uh, scrotum esque. <laughs> I was thinking it looks like a giant sack. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, so you get that going, and then you just uh, you can put underneath it a pitcher or a cup, whatever you want to use. Uh, you want to go. I think that the cup might be might make a mess, but we'll find out. Well, it's going to be a mess because we're going to have to switch at one point. Okay. Yeah, there's that. And then you get your <laughs> hot water out. Oh, see how fast we are. Okay, and then. You just do it like a like a regular pour over. So I am actually case, going to we, uh, I'm going to kind of get them damp a little bit and then let that uh, let it bloom a bit, as they say, right? Yeah. Oh, hold on a second. Let me get down in there. Oh yeah. And then uh, just let it sit there. So wait a few more seconds, uh, and then uh, and then we'll finish off the pour. So with the two full of these of water is in here. Yep. Well, uh, about uh, six eighths full. All right. So then we pour what the any minute now. Um, Dean, what do you think is the the benefit of this and dripping through the sock compared to uh, like a regular pour over? Can you think of any? I would assume that it's just the fact that it's reusable and maybe easier to obtain. Uh, think about this. This is just this is just hundred percent cotton. It looks like it is. And they said so there's really not much like you can find that honestly at the end of the day if you really wanted to you could use a real sock uh, yeah you really could uh, they they also say that um, to wash it they say you should rinse just rinse it with just water after every use mm -hmm. but then it says that every uh, once a week or once every two weeks depending on how often you use it said uh, wash it with some salt so mm -hmm. you like rub a little salt in there um, then rinse it out fully so there's no more uh, get all the salt out of it before you let it dry they also say, you know, it's going to discolor and stain. That's just part of the experience. Yeah, and salt's actually a really good stain remover. That's an old restaurant trick. Oh, yeah. As soon as if there's ever a big spill on your couch right away, if you cover it in uh, salt, it'll absorb most of it before it seeps into the uh, couch, and then you just wipe the salt off. Caffeine and kills life hacks. Yeah. Right here on This How We Brew It. Yeah. Um, it's an old restaurant trick. Could be one Three benefit. kids out there. One benefit to this sock also is that you know, the sock's gonna hold a little water in it, mm -hmm. so it might spread out the moisture more. Whereas just like a metal, 
a metal uh, strainer mm -hmm. or filter or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of just goes off. It just kind of goes off, on and off. This yeah. is kind of like, yeah, the absorption of the of the flavors. We're using what coffee? We're using uh we're using the. Uh, this is the. Uh, we're using Caffeine Kills coffee. Or we're using the no. uh, drink coffee do stuff. We're from our buddy uh, Nick Visconti. Yeah, we're using Nick's coffee. We're a local California brand out of Sacramento, and he's out of Tahoe. Yeah, like Tahoe. he's in our right. last. Right. This is how we brew a video that was posted. All right, the switch time. Ready? Yep. And yeah. Oh yeah, flawless. Don't worry about those drippings. Okay. Another thing, it's easy, you know, when you're doing pour over, you want to make sure you get all the grounds wet. Mm -hmm. With this more vertical setup, you're definitely getting the tops of all of them. For sure. Now, I can already tell you, your cup looks a lot darker than mine. Well, it was the first run through. Yeah. This might be best for, I would guess, for maybe just one cup at a time. Mm -hmm. Like a, a single, single person use. Or more grounds. Yeah, unless we filled it all the way up or something, but then still... I don't know. Maybe if we actually measured the grounds to water ratio. I think it's pretty, I mean, I would assume it's pretty good. I'm, I'm, that's I'm imagining pretty... that's about, that's probably more than what? We needed four tablespoons? Yeah. Well, we'll probably both just drink out of this one. Well, I'll taste it. I'll still give it a go. It's definitely light in color. Mm -hmm. Now you could probably uh, milk it. Ooh, that's hot. It's like, well, it's hot water. <laughs> you could probably right. milk it. Yeah, milk it. It's kind of like a, like a goat, like a goat's, uh, like the, the teeth. Like an udder. Like the teeth of a goat, an udder. Well, give it a squeeze. I uh, know I'm gonna I'm pass. <laughs> it's gonna burn me. <laughs> it's probably gonna burn you. All right. Well, uh, what we'll do is we'll do an actual cheers. No, yeah, real no cheers. No boom boomerang it. fake cheers. No boomerang fake cheers. And then you can uh, try your tea flavored one. And then. Uh, well, I got another extra cup here to catch the drops. Oh, I was gonna pull some off. There he goes. And yeah. Ooh, right in time. And then after that, you can try this one. It's actually. Uh, Let's burn ourselves. All right. Nice and hot. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, this is thick. Mine's mine's lighter, but it's not bad. Not give as bad it, as I give thought. Give this one a rip. This is like syrup. So I think yeah, I think you got the gist of it. This tastes like actual coffee. Yeah, this is potent. This is not too watered down. We're gonna mix these together. It's now so so that's I think is the key. So what I what I've learned about the uh, the Corriador is when you're using the Corriador. If you're just doing one cup, go to a community cup and then pour from there. Well, one cup or a pitcher. Like you could put a pitcher, you know, like a bigger cup. Not a minute, because these two combined would have made a perfect cup of coffee. Right. What? And these damn camper mugs are so big. Let's go out to like half, like another half of that in there. And there we go. You just gonna brim it? <laughs> just spill it everywhere too. That's perfect. Now it's perfect. Give it a rip. You have coffee all over the table. <laughs> oh yeah. There it is. So, so, so the trick is for sure to do it in one container. Right. So either if you're if you're making enough for two people, one container and then uh, and then parse it out, or um, just only enough for the single serving. And honestly, like now that I know, like I've seen what it looks like, I would just do fill this bag halfway up, and then do about. Uh, 24 ounces of water. Yep. And then you should be good for two people. That's perfect. Yeah. Now half a bag of grounds, 24 ounces of water, roughly, and then you should be good. And you know it's funny. That's it's a it's quick it's way of doing it without think, being all, you know. Th think about it now, it's totally obvious. Uh, it's direct. just just like a regular coffee pot, whatever, just like a regular dripper where you have at home. If you were to make a full cut, a full pot of coffee, but halfway through pulled it out, put another container in, the second one would be weaker. For sure. So just like anything else. For sure. So there you go. So the old Corridor. I, I There's a reason why the pour over goes into a jar, yeah. not two different cups. Right, you do the individual cups or you do a jar, right? Yeah. Um, so I, I mean, I think it's really good. I think it has good flavor. I like that it, uh, it's easy. It's easy, reusable. Quick. Quick, reusable the cleanup might be kind of a pain in the ass. Maybe not that bad. Just gotta clean the sock out. Yeah. but. Uh, pack, I mean, uh, packability, portability. Portability, packability, tastes great, tastes like a regular, tastes like a pour over. No, this is a, uh, this is actually, I don't know, I might like this better than the pour over. You're not going to, the thing is, you're not going to get any uh, sediment in the coffee. No, but some people like that, and there's different times for different oh, yeah. people also, but. Yeah. I didn't mean that as a positive. No, no, for sure, for sure. 
I would honestly, I think if I like were in the market and I knew about this, I would probably pick this over the portable. Right? I just kind of like how it looks. It looks great. I think it's a lot more uh, appealing. You know, it looks cool. No, it does. It's definitely cool. If you pulled this out, if someone asked for a cup of coffee at your house, you pulled this out. And he, if someone asked for a cup of coffee, said, "Let me just go and whip this out." Yeah. If you pulled this out, people would be like, "Oh, what the? What's that?" Yeah. Yeah. There it is. All right. Well, Cory Adore, this is how we brew it. Caffeine and kilos. See you later. See you.